Hi, welcome to just out of view 153. Uh, so it's about 1.45 in the afternoon, um, just in case you wonder. I just went on a massive, massive rant to my phone, sat here by myself. It's not fair of me to share what I just said in my videos. Um, I just want, I think it's easiest I just say, I am not going to comply with these restrictions and we'll leave it at that. Uh, what I just filmed, however, was what is still, believe it or not, classed as one of the most endangered species in the UK, in our rivers, which was the otter. That otter caught a perch about the size of my hand, if you, if I could, I'm not sure if I filmed it right. But, uh, make what you will of that. <laughs> I'll add a, I'm gonna add a few little screenshots, one from, uh, the UK Wild Otter Trust's homepage and one from Google's homepage just to show how out of touch those people are with real life because that's the first animal I've seen. <laughs> where are the coots? Where are the swans? Where are the moorhens? Where are the ducks? Where are the water voles? Where is everything <laughs> other than that one animal which is, like I said, on the endangered list. The next animal that I'll see most likely will be someone's dog. <laughs> anyway, let's get fishing. I'm fishing my maggots, size 20 hook. Let's see what we get. What I do want to point out, actually, before I cast out, I don't know how much of that encounter I filmed, but you'll notice well, if you know where I am, I can tell you now the river's flowing from this way to that way. It is swimming upstream, like I've mentioned in a couple of previous videos. When the otter's fishing, it swims upstream to approach the fish from behind. That way it can kill them, you know, basically. Anyway, let's carry on. Looks like the otter's coming back again. It's gonna come from uh, my left. Your right, I think. <laughs> I've got a leaf. <laughs> about, I think that's all I'm gonna catch today after the cold weather we've had recently. About minus five last night. Yeah. And the otter, obviously. <laughs> Who knows? That particular otter, by the way, was either a female or a young one, like a uh, one that's just left mum and dad, or mum really, um, probably like a year old. And I think they're called a transient otter, I'm not sure. Well, rather unsurprisingly, I've had no bites at all on maggots so for the last half hour, I'm gonna use longbow. Nothing on the lob, <laughs> on with a couple of dendrous. So that caught me out. <laughs> <laughs> 
nice ass spin. <laughs> There it is, sir. Whoops, he's all right. Tiny little, well not tiny, tiny, little brown trout, far brown trout. Always happy to catch something. Let's put it straight back. There is it. Another much smaller little wild brown trout. It just goes to show why these are in the river in such high numbers. It's because even in, you know, when the water drops, etc., etc., they are staying very alert, eating worms. Now it's getting dark and avoiding otters. Put it straight back. That's all I got time for. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Um, I'm keeping myself very quiet in this video. I'm hold, biting my tongue, I can tell you. But anyway, thanks a lot and see you again next time, maybe. Bye.